Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited because I'm going to be doing a room tour. It's actually going to be video one of four. I'm going to be doing four room tours. Um, so this is going to be a little series about where we homeschool in our homeschool home. I have been wanting to do this for a while, but I'm kind of glad that it got put off until now because there are some changes that we've made that I'm really excited about. Um, I didn't really plan on making too many changes to our homeschool space because it's been working out really well for us, but there are just a few little things that are moved around, um, so I thought I would share those things with you. This is going to be the beginning of a four video series because I wanted to share the different spaces in our home that we mostly do our schoolwork. I'm going to be giving you a little tour of our main homeschool room, which is where we house the majority of our homeschool related things. So this is video number one, and this is our main room, which is our homeschool room tour, our main homeschool room tour, I guess. I'm really excited to share this space with you. This is probably my number one requested video, but I'm going to give you four videos instead of just one. The four rooms that we use the most for homeschool homeschooling are my main homeschool room which is going to be in this video and then we use our homeschool studio which if you guys have been here for any small bit of time then you know that we started redoing the garage space to make it into a homeschool studio space it's kind of like a crafting maker type space and it also gives me space for our business as well so um, I'll be sharing that one with you in the next video and then after that um, two of the rooms that we use mostly for doing a lot of school related things are the kids rooms so the boys room and then my daughter's room so I'm going to be sharing with you those two rooms as well our main homeschool room the homeschool studio my boys room and my baby girls room I really, really, really love our spaces and they are a true reflection of how we do school and how we use our space um, to do school more efficiently. And I hope you enjoy. The newest part of our homeschool room is our fireplace nook. It used to have a bookshelf in front of it and it was really old and ugly looking. I was able to remove the bookshelf because the kids are older and I gave it a fresh coat of paint. Having this little area really gave us a little extra space in our homeschool room. We keep our clipboards up here to display some of their recent stories, some of their designs, a few extra books. And this is our book nook for our, all of our library finds. We try to keep our library things separate. I decided to use our chalk markers to write down all of the important dates that we are going to try and cover this year. It's super fun and so us. This is our timeline history wall. And then we get into our workspaces. We have three main desks. The two long desks are from my son's. On the left side is my older son's space. In the middle we have sharpener, pencils, crayons, all that jazz. And on the right side is my younger son's area. Just underneath the desk we have their work boxes. On the right side I have my first graders work boxes and on the left side I have my third graders. Our kitchen spot has not changed. It is perfect over in that corner. I found four or five of these easels at Michael's on clearance a little bit ago and so I put them to good use this year by spreading them all around the homeschool spaces to display some of our resources. Another one of the things that looks a little different from last year is this new rug. It's really not new, it just found a new home. It used to be in our boys room, but it fits in perfectly here. 
on the opposite side of our desk is our storage area. This is where I keep our bookshelf and um, all of our drawers to hold any curriculum, any manipulatives. So it's a really great spot to keep all of our things that I want us to all have access to. Above that little area is my new printer. I'm super excited about it because my old one just, it just, it just gave up on me. So <laughs> we're loving it now. I try to use it very responsibly and not print everything um, that there is to print in the world. <laughs> but we're also using that printer for business as well. A TV that we use to play all of our, our educational DVDs that we find at the library. On the bookshelf it's pretty simple same as last time the last time I did a room tour it holds our um, train tracks our blocks um, some of our books our puzzles I really try to keep it minimal so this is pretty much most of what we have so I have some uh, curriculum books for homework time I have some letters for us to do some fun play together, um, mostly for the spelling is what we use those for. We really love our space and it really fits us and serves us well. I was so excited to be able to share it with you. I hope you enjoyed this room tour and I will see you in our next video. Thank you.